The great thing about Boston Legal is that it's a show we're all so proud of making. People will shout after me as I'm walking down the street or through an airport, you know, I love that show, we love that show. It's like ice cream, you know, there, you just, it is the most glorious thing on earth. It's just really, it's really terrific. <laughs> Our marching orders from the beginning is let's make this show entertaining and fun and irreverent, a little bit perverse and, and darkly comic. There's a legal term for this. Ah, yes. Ooh. I don't have to be pinned down playing Alan Shore at all. You can have a presumption of how he's going to respond to a specific set of circumstances, and you can just be dead wrong. Hello, big people. Here's $300. Would you be so kind as to go hit that man down there? There's an extra 100 if he goes down. James is a very brave actor, and I've never once got resistance from him saying, oh, gee, that will make my character too unlikable or uh, he'll be misunderstood. He's extremely willing to tackle tough subject matter and willing to have his character be despised and unliked. Speaking as an enormously unlikable person, I find it difficult to maintain grudges against all those who want to kill me. Don't you? Yes. You'll perhaps find that when he come back in your office. He's very, you know, he's very open-minded. <laughs> you know, I think he, you know, and I think he likes oddity and eccentricity and I think he you know and he's I think he's got a very flexible and, and progressive outlook on um, alternative life be all that you can be you don't want me to say anything just those two little words that tend to shock and awe Denny Crane in the development of the Denny Crane character I was looking for an iconic lawyer who was once great, no longer was, but still traded on the currency of his legendary reputation as a trial law hero. With all the humility I can summon up, I'm the greatest trial attorney that ever lived. I had had a, a breakfast with uh, David Kelly. Uh, he had invited me to breakfast, and since he was paying as an actor, I couldn't give up a free meal. He had described this sort of wild uh, character that he was considering. And I did not want to do a, another series, but I, I had to recant. A rabbit out of your hat. That's the secret of both trial law and life. Rabbits. He was so over the top and bombastic that he immediately signaled to the audience, you know, I'm from a different <laughs> series, if not planet. What's my name? Denny Crane. Like you mean it. Denny Crane. What's my name? Denny Crane! No further questions. Denny Crane just came out of David's head as a, uh, as a, a guy that likes to hear his own name, say his own name, and he thinks it helps. Denny Crane. 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 Without a co-pilot. I never thought of this, but David Kelly Sounds very much like Denny Green. Den E. Crane. Den E. Crane. David E. Kelly. There's something there. Where is everybody? This is an administrative meeting, Denny. Oh, what the hell am I doing? We had Crane, Poole, and Schmidt. We knew who Crane was. We had seen Poole, and the question was, who is Schmidt? And having met Crane and Poole, there was a little bit of a burden on us that Schmidt better be something. Come again? I don't like it when you say that, Shirley. It puts pressure on me. So now you're looking for powerful, sexy, dramatic, and funny, and the list gets very short. What about Candace as Schmidt? How about that? And it was one of those ideas that um, you wonder, why didn't we think of that sooner? I had read reviews of the shows, and, and I had seen a couple and was completely intrigued by the show, especially by James Spader and Bill Shatner. I've been known to get contentious with men I unconsciously want to bed. I can't possibly imagine wanting to have sex with you, but then again, I did sleep with Denny. Candace Bergen is, first of all, is one of the most beautiful women uh, 
America has ever produced. Actually, I can't get my eyes off her nose. Her nose is perfect. She can still pop my chubby. With every character seeming somewhat off the wall, we needed one character that was taking care of business. He has to ground the firm and make the audience believe that it's a real law firm and it's sometimes thankless work. He's got to be the taskmaster. And still be able to handle the comedy as well as the drama. And um, one name came up and that was Renee's. To safeguard and repair the reputation of Crane, Poole, and Schmidt. Stop it! I've had it. To feel that you are part of an ensemble, part of a team is a, a very rare experience and is really part of why this show is so extraordinary. It's a strange ensemble with really big personalities and uh, somehow everyone is able to sort of squeeze their egos in through the door and, and fit on the set at the same time and, and make a scene work. It's really the most ideal world as as an actor because you kind of get to do it all and you know at the same time I get to do it with fantastic other people too with really good writing. How important is the writing Boston Legal? The writing is everything. It's almost like oxygen you don't really think about it until you don't have it. The writing on this show has been the best writing I have ever been in on television and ever seen. You're just constantly surprised by the storylines, by the dialogue, by the, the characters and the situations. It's, it's, um, it's a feast. That's why you brought Shirley back. To build an alliance. Guess you're the one who forgot how to piss. You don't care whether you believe in my client's innocence. And I'll assume, with all due respect, may it please the court, that you don't. You cannot be sure of his guilt. You simply cannot. And failing that, how can you kill him? How can you kill him? Every show deals with a political or social issue that hasn't even been in the papers yet some of the time. And then two weeks later, after we've shot it, it'll be uh, on the front page. It's really pretty delicious. You come away from it feeling like, God, I really learned a lot. It was really funny, and I don't really want to go home, and I can't wait to come back tomorrow. It's the most fun, friendliest, caring set I've ever been on. God almighty. And cut. This show has the most diverse range of, um, of fans, of people that are loyal to it and make a point of watching it, all ages, all backgrounds. Um, and now, of course, I, I get people who want me to be their lawyer, so that's an added bonus. The people that I, that I know that watch the show, they're almost relieved that it's on television right now. And a lot of people say that it is the best, the best show on TV. When the writing is as good as it is, I think, on this show, and the people that, are, that I'm working with on this show are just the best they could be, from the crew to the cast to the production to everybody. It's the best I can imagine.